what's up guys and welcome to this edition of High Clubpedia. I've got to be honest with you guys I am seriously missing Southeast Asian food I've been back in Taiwan for about eight or nine months now and although I have had some Southeast Asian food um, on occasion we're living in a housing estate and it's not really that close to any shops you just get lazy and cook at home and while I can cook Southeast Asian food, it's quite troublesome to make with pounding the spices and doing all that prep work. Hiya! So, I'll be honest, I haven't cooked it very often. So, I've decided instead to do a video on Southeast Asian food that's available in and around the Shinju area and also Northern Taiwan. I'm cheating, I'm going to go to Taipei as well. I'm going to start with one of the dishes that I really miss the most from Singapore and that is the Singapore classic that is laksa and after a quick web search I've found a restaurant just a few kilometers from my place that does laksa so let's head over there and check it out I got the um, the haohua or the luxury laksa because it's got more ingredients inside. Got to find a nice shady place to eat now. Bean sprouts overboard. Oops. Let's give it a try. Let's try the broth first. A little bit of kick. It's got the nice seafood flavour. Although it's kind of a little bit watery. This is kind of strange, having an okra in a laksa. I like okra, don't get me wrong, but uh, should it be in here? Let me know in the comments. Tofu skin. Noodles are well cooked with a bit of bite. Fish ball. Ah, shrimp, a nice surprise, a big green-lit mussel. Hmm, well that was surprisingly good. Um, it's taught me a lesson, never judge a laksa by its cover because when I opened it, I kind of was a bit disappointed and then because the seafood didn't immediately pop out but actually it was really really good uh, the, the taste of the broth was quite authentic in my opinion of course I'm not um, a Singaporean and there was plenty of ingredients two fat shrimp one big green lip mussel and lots of other things it's quite filling overall although i guess compared to singapore you'd say it's pretty pricey at nine dollars fifty it was quite a big bowl of food and overall a very solid effort considering we're in taiwan for my next southeast asian cuisine we are going to take a trip to indonesia although not really i'm here in shinju city center and this place i've been wanting to visit for a while but every time I go, they're not open. But they're definitely open today. So let's go in and get some Indonesian food. So we got um, beef stew and tempeh. 
fried egg, rice, sambal and some vegetables. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. Not bad. Nice flavour. Now I ordered a side dish as well. I have no idea what it's like, but this is it. It's called MPEG MPEG, I think. Let's try it. It's um, the cucumber, and then it's kind of like a fried dough um, in a kind of like a vinegary sauce. It's pretty good actually. Wow, that was really good. Um, a bit spicy, but that's what you expect with Indonesian food. But um, the beef stew, the one piece of beef was a bit tough, but the rest of it was really nice and well cooked. And the flavors were really nice. It's like Indonesian food is usually just like simple side dishes and then one kind of flavorful main dish. And uh, it was really good. Toko Indo Taman Shinju gets a big thumbs up from me okay guys um, the next place I'm going to take you is in Taipei as you can probably tell by the noisier street scenes in the background I'm in new Taipei City's Zhonghe area and again I'm going to take you to check out some food that I think is kind of underrepresented when it comes to Southeast Asian food and that is Burmese or Myanmar cuisine now, I got into it when I was living in Singapore because we had a domestic helper who was from Myanmar and pretty much every day at lunchtime she would try and cook me Western food and I could see that it was a trouble for her. So after a few weeks I said to her, look, I like any kind of food, just cook me what you're having. So for the next few years, every lunchtime she would cook up some delicious Myanmar food for herself and then I would have some too and so I really got into it and so after about nine months away from Singapore I'm looking forward to checking out some Myanmar food so let's go and have a look wow this place behind me is so busy it's just a hole in the wall, but I don't think I can be bothered to wait that long. I'm so hungry. So I got uh, Myanmar style chicken noodles and then um, this side dish. I think it's potato cakes, but I'm not sure. I've never had this before, but I thought I'd give it a try because it looks nice. Um, I have to say, First impressions, it looks delicious, so let's get into it. Let's try the potato cake. It's got like a chili and a soy dip. It tastes a bit like cold chips, but nice. Okay, 
So the next place I wanted to bring you to is a restaurant that does, in my opinion, is a very underrated and underappreciated Southeast Asian cuisine. It's Filipino food. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I've had some Filipino roast pork or lechon in one of my past videos. You can check it out here. And there are quite a few Filipino places around the Shinju area because there's a lot of migrant workers. And I found this place, they do both pork and chicken. So I'm going to go inside and get some lechon chicken or roast chicken. pretty quiet because it's like a lunch time in midweek and this is like an industrial area but I think most people just come by and uh, get takeout. This chicken. So uh, I changed the pan. Okay, yeah. Ma? Yeah. okay. Thank you very much. All right so I got the uh, roast chicken and big plate it's a whole chicken for I think $300 then you get the sauce and I also got the papaya salad as a side and some rice um, there's no way I'm gonna eat all this but uh, I'll take some home later to feed the hordes so uh, let's tuck in and try some Pinoy lechon manok all right I'm gonna go with a leg first Being in Southeast Asia because you've got some uh, dodgy KTV going on upstairs as well. Cheers. Mm. It's a good chicken. The papaya um, is kind of like sweet and it's got lemon juice in, carrot, and some uh, capsicum as well kind of helps to cut through the grease in the chicken so it's kind of a nice side dish you can see there's um, the lemongrass that's been used um, to roast the chicken garlic skins as well it's very juicy nice texture and um, got some nice flavor to it as well although not too strong dip in the sauce it's really really nice kind of like soy chili garlic and onions inside okay that's me done I can't take any more I'm gonna uh, get it wrapped up and take it home thank you okay guys so I've had my fill and I've got the rest to take out um, yeah, overall, I'd say it was pretty nice. Um, nice flavor to the chicken and a very good price. Just $300 for a whole bird. It's not bad value at all. And of course, if you don't want chicken, they also do roast pork. And yeah, enjoyed it. Okay, guys, so this next place, I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be like. I was in Taipei area filming and I did a search and this place popped up and it says it's a copy tian so uh, let's go check out what kind of food they've got there I guess in it's kind of Singapore Malay style food um, it's in this main student area around Gongguan so I'm not sure if it's catered to students or it's going to be a bit more sophisticated let's go find out The menu looks pretty comprehensive. They've got a selection of nasi lemak and uh, noodles, laksa, hainan chicken. They've even got the breakfast stuff as well, the toast. And they've got my favorite, so I'm gonna have to try the curry puffs. Okay, so my pulled tea tarak is here. It looks pretty authentic. Let's give it a try. 
Mm. Just like being back in Singapore. I hope the food lives up to that. Okay, my food is here. Um, it looks pretty good. The curry pops look superb. I hope they taste nice. Um, and the the nasi lemak, it looks not bad. I'm gonna try the curry pop first. Looks like um, from Top One in Singapore, the flaky pastry. Mm. Now that is a authentic Singapore style curry pop. That's really nice. I'll have to come back here again just for the curry pops, I think. Pastry is crispy because it's been fried and nice taste to it and the curry is a little bit spicy and definitely Malaysian Singapore style curry inside. Mm. That's pretty good. Good start. Okay, let's go for nasi lemak. Let's try the rice first. Oh, I was wrong. It is coconut rice. Mm. It's got good coconut flavor. Confirm my suspicions. It's more like the chicken is like yen suji, but everything else, the sambal and the rice, are pretty good. Big fat shrimp as well. Feels like Singapore, except it's 10 degrees cooler. I guess the best testament to this place and how good it is is that I just saw some Malay students come out and they looked happy. <laughs> oh, this is really, really good. my jacket off because the sambal is doing sambal things as you can see from my plate um, you'll know that that was really good um, my only complaint would be I would have preferred a nice chicken leg instead of the smaller pieces of chicken but that didn't detract from the overall dish which was really really good quality and um, it was seriously it was just like being back in Singapore um, the only gripe I guess I would have is the cost it's $240 which is like $11 Singapore which would probably give most Singaporeans a heart attack for a nasi lemak but I guess that's what you'd call the exotic food premium whereas you always pay a little bit extra for food that's from another country but yeah I, I really really enjoyed that and I would definitely come back here. Mr. Chi, copy TM, double thumbs up from me. Alright guys, um, I guess you could say that we saved the best till last as I really did enjoy that nasi lemak. So I hope you enjoyed my short introduction of some of the Southeast Asian food on offer in Taiwan. And maybe if you come over one day or if you're in the area, then you'll go and try it. So that's about it for today. Uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, give me a like. And you can always subscribe. And you can always hit the bell for notifications if you want to catch my videos every Saturday morning. Thanks again for everybody who got me a copy. I really appreciate your support. Sorry, I'm trying to look where I'm going. If you want to help support the channel in any way then you can buy three or more coffees for a Hyclopedia patch or there are some digital downloads or stickers available. Just go to my Buy Me A Coffee webpage for details. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it for today guys. Until next time, take it easy. See you next week. Over and out. Hiya! Hiya! Hiya!